I've been asked more than once, how does the university come to partner with the Patriarchate on such a, an event? And uh, my answer is one that not all my colleagues at universities in America would agree. Uh, we are very, very good when we do our job well of training students to be critical thinkers, to solve problems, to apply their minds, and we shy away from conversations of the heart, of uh, values and ethics. Uh, we start to talk about ethics a little bit because that feels like philosophy and it feels like safer territory for us. But what we've done really good, we were, we're really good at helping students deconstruct meaning, and we're less good at helping them reconstruct meaning and build meaning in their lives. So when Father John and I started this conversation with uh, the great help of Professor Michelle Goldsmith, who's here as well as, as one of our co-conspirators, our professor of ethics, um, this is the spark that sort of drew us in, into this conversation. Um, this only happened, though, with enormous, enormous uh, effort from a lot of people, and it starts with His All Holiness and His uh, gracious sponsorship of us in this amazing setting um, and in His uh, inspirational leadership. I have to particularly thank our keynotes. Uh, we have Gary Hirschberg, of course, who we know from New Hampshire and his work in Stony Brook uh, Farms, which is really global now. Um, and also uh, Bill McKibben, who is on his way, um, one of our last stragglers, uh, for whom many of us are great admirers. And then, of course, Jane Goodall, who um, I thought I, I could retire a rich man if I simply could charge $5 for every photo of Jane um, that, uh, for the sake of, but she is a hero to so many people. Um, I mentioned Father John and Michelle. They have been amazing uh, uh, participants in, in pulling this together. Um, John has become a good friend. We've been working on this for over a year. Uh, and a man who I've come to greatly admire. Um, but you talked about, and Jane talks a lot about our work with young people. And if you don't mind, I'm going to recognize some young people in the room because they have done heroic work in the last couple of days. I think Kyle and Scott spent hours upon hours at the airport today shepherding some of you to ferry boats and over to the island. So if I could ask the following to stand up. Uh, Bree and Caitlin, if you would stand up for a moment, and Grace and Scott and Kyle. Is that Kyle? And high school interviews, so thank you. And uh, if you need help in the course of the next couple of days, they will be eager to assist you. And then there's one um, hero, if angels walk the earth, uh, I think they must look like Nick Anton, who is, uh, where is Nick? Um, <laughs> Nick is standing back there. And um, I, I really, um, I have two daughters, and I jealously guard them from all male suitors, but if I could pick the perfect husband, I think it would be Nick Anton. <laughs> He has other plans. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so I, I will get out of the way um, and, and ask Father John to come up. But thank you all for, for being here um, and being part of this. It's a very, very special couple of days I've been planning for you.